Thank you very much for introducing us to all these wonderful people. Um, as Damien said, that we had, you know, we were doing great, and I was working as a nurse, and we had a couple issues that I needed to stay home with. So I stopped working, and and um, all of you know you had COBRA for a while, and then when your husband is self-employed, you have to buy your own insurance, and that's as much as a mortgage, and doesn't work very good. And I got we got our insurance on February 1st. I was diagnosed on February um, 15th, and they, of course, didn't believe us that I could possibly have had this breast cancer, you know, and all of a sudden have it just after we get our insurance. And, so we've had to struggle from day one explaining this situation, and um, the kids were quite small at the time. It's been, February will be six years, and at the time I was, I was given two to five years to live. So we're quite happy things are working out well, and as Damien said, I had some great friends that said, um, let's do the Avon walk and let's raise money for breast cancer. So that's what he was talking about, our walk. We do a two-day walk. It's 40 miles over two days that you walk. We did it in Washington, D.C., we did it in Boston, and we did it in New York, and um, our goal is to do it in Chicago in June because we like to do a little sightseeing as we walk in this thing, too. Um, but one of the, the hardships that we've had recently is how does one of us stay near available at home if anything happens at school, and it does, um, and one of us has to be available to do those kind of things, and Damien needs the car to, to whatever sales he has to do, and then I have to go for my treatments, and you can't avoid the treatments. Um, this summer, I experienced shortness of breath and couldn't climb a flight of stairs. I could not have gotten through this conversation. Um, as Ellen can testify and the kids can testify, I couldn't really get, couldn't speak because I didn't have enough air. And we found out through testing that I had, um, my cancer had advanced to my lungs. And in October I was in the hospital because I was having some renal failures, problem with my kidneys. And we, it may have advanced around that area, we don't know. But my problem is, is that I have to be at chemo every three weeks. I don't, I can't miss it. Tomorrow I have to go for my body scans at 7 a.m. I have to be at the hospital. So what do you do if somebody calls from school and says, oh no, you have to be at the school right now too? Or what if you have a client that you have to be with right now as well? And I say, everything has to drop because I have to be at chemo. And the car that we've been using for that is the mechanic told us, um, don't drive it if a friend can't come and get you because it was that kind of a car, and Damien, every time I went out, would say, be safe, and, I, and he'd say, I hope she gets there. So this, that all of you have done, is such a huge gift, because now we don't have that worry. Now I know I'm going to get there. I'm going to get to chemo, because that's my mind. <laughs> and so you guys have just taken away that huge worry that we have. And I don't know how many times my mother has said, are you getting any tires for that? Are you really riding on those tires? And my sister says, are you sure it's going to make it? And everybody has to say that. So thank you all. This is, this is huge. And I know our kids will always remember the day we got a new car. <laughs> and I know Dylan's already eyeing it for when he's going to start driving, but I don't know about that one. <laughs> it's not the mower. So thank church. you all very much. Thank you very, very huge. much. Thank you.